Hello everybody and welcome to another Snapseed Mini Tutorial lesson. This is Grandpa Scott and today we're going to talk about stacks in Snapseed. Did you know that Snapseed keeps track of every adjustment you make and then lets you come back and tweak those adjustments anywhere in the process after you're finished, if you're in the middle of it, you've done some cropping, you've done some selective adjustments, you've done some tune image adjustments, and then you want to go back and adjust the crop? Well, without having to start over, you can use this stacks feature. So let's go talk about stacks. As mentioned, today we will talk about stacks. Stacks is an interesting and very versatile tool in Snapseed. When you make adjustments in Snapseed, Snapseed saves all those adjustments and does not change your original photo. We call it non-destructive workflow. And what Stacks enables you to do is modify all of the tools and filters that you have previously applied to an image. You can copy and paste edits from one image to another. You can insert additional tools and filters into your workflow for the image you're working on now. Or you can adjust the slider settings on tools or filters you have already applied to the image without having to start all over again. So it is a very flexible feature. With this picture we're working with today, let me show a little bit about how Stacks works and then you can experiment after that and enjoy its ultimate flexibility. So let's start first by touching the little tool icon in the bottom right corner, which brings up all the available tools and of course the filters below. Let's start with typically in a post-processing of an image I will start with crop if needed and rotate. So let's start with crop here. And uh, let's just take the default square crop, select, which we did. Now let's touch the toolbar again and say next, I want to, I don't need any rotation on this, so I'm gonna go to tune image next. And remember as we touch tune image and slide up and down, we have all these different uh, aspects of the image we can play with. Typically start with ambience. So I'm going to play with ambience here a little bit. Go up to about 30 and now I'm doing this very quickly but I want to get to what stacks will do for us. Saturation, let's give it a little saturation. Um, a little bit of warmth. Now let's go back up and do brightness last. It's my personal preference. Um, Take it about right there. I'm going to save that. Now you notice in the top right hand corner where it says save, there's also a little square with a number three in it. That number three represents how many different tools you've used and have in the stacks. So if you touch that three, it opens the stacks. You'll see we have a tune image stack on top. We have the crop stack next and then the brush which is a default um, first item put in once you start doing multiple stacks and the original photo and you notice each one of those stacks are in the order that we made those adjustments and they turn off and on based on touching if you touch the top one it turns on the whole stack so and if you touch the crop notice now the crops in the middle if I want to adjust that crop I can touch, highlight the crop so it's in blue, touch it again, and you get a little fly out that says, if I want to delete it, I hit the trash can. If I want to adjust it, I hit these adjustment bars. Now I'm back to the crop feature. I can say, oh, I didn't like that crop. I'm going to actually go back and change it, put her eyes in the third and make it free aspect. Now I'm going to choose... Um, the original aspect, but crop it down a little bit, putting her eyes in the third, right there, click yes. Now we've got the new crop, and we've still got all the tune image adjustments applied. But you can see those tune image adjustments are maybe a bit much, so we can touch tune image stack, and we can come back and say, delete it with the trash can. We can adjust it if we hit the adjustment bar. 
let's not adjust it, so we'll click yes. Touch it, let's hit the middle, this brush. Now it takes all those Tune Image Tools settings off, and it's gonna let us brush where we want to put them back on. See, if you touch the little icon just to the right of the X in the bottom corner, it turns it on and off. There, it's now ah, there it is, on. Right, so that's, that's the effect of all of our Tune Image adjustments. That's the effect of it off. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna touch the little eyeball indicator on the right, and I'm gonna start painting. Because I touched that eyeball indicator, it shows where I'm painting in red. For instance, if I touch the eyeball again, that goes off. Touch the eyeball, and you see where you paint. I'm gonna actually paint everywhere except her face. What I want to do, what that will do then, is that should take all those tune image adjustments and apply them everywhere except her face. And if I take it down to zero, it turns into an eraser. So make sure her face is clear. Click check. And there we go. We now have all those tune image adjustments applied to everywhere except her face. And you can see that again by going to the brush and show, oh, it goes a little bit down to her neck, so let's brush that up a little bit so it's just her face. Click yes. If I click crop, all those tune image adjustments go away. You can see them on and off, on and off. So you can adjust any one of these tune image items. You can adjust your crop. Any tool that you've used will be added to the stack as you go along in an image. And you can go back and adjust that tool. You can delete that tool. You can actually insert a different tool. For instance, if I go to crop, then hit the back arrow on set on crop, hit the back arrow, I go to the crop. Now let's add another tool. So we hit add tool and we throw in details. Just for example, I'm going to put details at sharpening at 100 and structure at 100. Hit yes. Now I'll go back to stacks. And you'll see that details was added between tune image and crop. If I touch tune image, all the tune image adjustments are turned back on. And you can see in the image now, particularly if you look at the water and the brush, that those details are way, way too strong. So we'll touch details, touch it again, go over to the adjustment, and we can uh, bring sharpening down to where I like it, about 25 to 30. We can bring structure down to say about the same, apply it, turn back on to an image, and there you have it. You've got all the adjustments like you want them when they're there. Touch the arrow on the top left, and then of course save, save a copy. You've now got a copy of this saved in your camera roll. When you open it up again in Snapseed, it will open up with this number four. Remember touching that four, and it will have all the stacks there. So if you come back tomorrow and decide you don't like the saturation or you don't like the ambience adjustment in Tune Image, you can open Tune Image back up and go adjust those again to how you would like it. What a great feature this is. It's easy when you know how. It's easier when you've done it a couple times and it's easiest when you do it a lot. So go in and play with this little feature at the top called Stacks. Open it up and notice what you can do by adjusting a picture, playing with it. It also has one other feature that we didn't talk about in this video and that is you can actually copy and paste any or all of these stacks from one image to another, which we'll talk about in a different tutorial. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.